Hey nieces and nephews, it's Uncle Chris, and I got three words for you. Food pantry. All right, we are going to start, as usual, from left to right. Now, this is from our local food pantry. You can go twice a month. Now, they pack it up for you. You don't shop there, but you do get a nice assortment. So, let's start. We've got some fruit mix here. Yes, I will finally show my fruit mix pie. I will show it. You will love it, hopefully. Or my fruit mix jello. Oh, that is so good. Trust me, I will show you the recipe for that. We got some SpaghettiOs, at least that's what I call them. This is the knockoff brand, but this is really good. This here has a lot less sodium, believe it or not. And Jay loves them, so I bake these with a little extra cheese on them. Yes, I do. I bake them. Mm -hmm. Now, let's take a look here. We've got some. Cut green beans. Love these. I just put Italian seasoning in them or I do them soul food style with a little smoked meat, you know. Now up here, we've got some peanut butter. Light red kidney beans. You already know they're going in my salad. That's right. Ooh. Whole kernel corn. And guess what? Let's see. Does that say no salt added? It sure does. Oh. <sighs> Got some mixed vegetables over here. No salt added. I love the food pantry because you get the low sodium items. Yes, low sodium. Nobody else wants them. I don't know why. We've got some low sodium tomato soup. Diced tomatoes. And we have this low sodium tomato sauce. This stuff makes the best spaghetti sauce. And lasagna sauce, pizza sauce. I'm telling you, you got to get this in the food pantries, okay? We also have some white chicken, chunk chicken. This makes great chicken salads or casseroles. Since it's summertime, I want to do the chicken salads. Now, I might do another chicken pot pie because I enjoyed City Girl's recipe so, so much. Also... We've got two cans of tuna fish. Now, this particular tuna fish, you have to drain and rinse thoroughly. I would also kind of give it a little bit of a um, buttermilk bath just to jazz it up, okay, to get that fishy taste out of it. Now, here, we've got two packs of elbow macaroni. Now, everyone always thinks, ooh, macaroni and cheese, um... Some type of spaghetti dish, a casserole. Did you know you can use this stuff to make desserts? Yes, you can. I'll show some of the desserts I make with this stuff. Yes, dessert. I'll show you. <laughs> Walnuts. I want to do something different. I want to put these in my salad. I also want to use these to make some dressings. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm going to show you how you do that. Now, we've got some rice, long grain rice. Love that. The multi-grain knockoff Cheerios. Jay loves these for his breakfast. And one of my favorites, northern beans. I absolutely adore these. I also love to make these in a chicken soup, I do. I put the, uh, the northern beans. And, just so happens, they gave us a whole bag of drumsticks. That's what I use for my soup. Love it. But, I also could do a barbecue. Would you guys like to see me do a Polynesian barbecue with these drumsticks? All right, I'll do that. Polynesian style drumsticks. And I'll still do some for my soup. Here... Got a whole pack of ground beef. This will be enough to make my hamburger helper. Well, it's my version. I make a cheesy uh, burger helper, and it's really good. In fact, I think it's better than what you get in the box. Okay, I know it is, but I'm tooting my own horn. <laughs> oh, 
we have a whole thing of cornbread. It, oh, this will go good with the beans. Oh, yeah. And then I have a whole thing of French bread. Does anybody want to see me make pizza bread? Sure you do. I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to do pizza bread with this. This will be great, okay? They also were kind enough to give us toiletries. We've got toilet paper. Two things of toilet paper and a nice bar of Irish Spring. Does anybody remember this when it first came out? I do. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm not going to do that too much because it's copyright infringement. <laughs> not sponsored. Now, this is a mini pantry haul, but this is a great supplement to my groceries. Uh, I don't have to shop for a lot of stuff. This is going to come in handy, and these items last. They can be used to extend the budget, you know. And I just have one freezer, guys. I really do. Just a regular freezer. I wish I had a deep freezer. I could do more. All right. I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. Next, I'm going to have a crafting video. As you know, Nina broke my beautiful vase. But I've decided to replace it and come up with something really cool. Moral of the story. Get crafty. Don't get mad. You got kids. They're going to knock things over. So... Let me show you how to make something that looks glam, but yet doesn't cost a lot. All right. Big love from Uncle Chris. Write me, Uncle Chris, the food pantry chef at gmail.com. Okay. Like, comment, and subscribe. I need at least 5,000 subscribers. Come on, guys. We can do it. And I'm going to have a giveaway. I finally got, guess what? Uncle Chris aprons. And I got a special surprise for Mama Bird. I'm sending her something. Oh, do I want to spoil the surprise? Hold on. No. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye.